everyone. So welcome back to my Tastefully Vicky Kitchen. Now there is something that I'd like to change on my food blog, tastefullyvicky.com, and that is there's not enough puddings on there for my liking. And I do have cravings, just like anybody else. Sometimes I'll have a quick microwave chocolate pudding with some yogurt. But today I thought I'd share with you a really scrummy half sin baked carrot and parsnip oats. Now let's rewind to a few months back when I did a similar porridge with the same ingredients and the odd person said they thought the idea was disgusting. But let me assure you, you can't taste parsnip, well I can't taste parsnip in this recipe. And I can't even taste sweetener, I think the combination of the carrots and the parsnip just disguises it. And I'm going to call this recipe half a sin because of the baking powder, but some of you might want to call it one sins if you are sinning sweetener. I don't think sweetener is a huge treat, so I don't really believe in it, but that's completely up to you if you want to stick to the new rules. I know some of you don't either. That's just what I'm calling it, but if you want to make it, then keep on watching. So to start off with, preheat your oven at 180 degrees, and then you'll need a large mixing bowl. Chuck in 40 grams of porridge oats, and then add 30 grams of grated carrot, and then 30 grams of peeled and grated parsnip, and then add a teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ground ginger, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, three tablespoons of fat-free natural yogurt, then crack in an egg, add a tablespoon of granulated sweetener, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then just give it a really good mix. And then whatever mini baking dishes you're using, spray it well with fry light, pour in the oaty mixture, and pop in the oven for about 30 minutes. And then you might want to tuck in with a little bit of yogurt. So as usual, let me know what you thought of this recipe in the comments below, and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, bye!